Then shall those who fear Yahuwah speak to one another, and Yahuwah listened and hear. And a book of remembrance be written before him of those who fear Yahuwah and those who esteem his name. And they shall be mine, said Yahuwah of hosts, on the day that I prepare a treasured possession, and I shall spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him. Then you shall again see the difference between the righteous and the wrong, between the one who serves Elohim and the one who does not serve him. Malachi 3, 16-18 Again I say, Hallelujah! A book of remembrance be written before him, Yahuwah, of those who fear Yahuwah and those who esteem his name. You shall be written in Yahuwah's book of remembrance if you fear him and give esteem to his name. It does not end there. The awesomeness continues in the next and final chapter also. For look, the day shall come, burning like a furnace, and all the proud and every wrongdoer shall be stubble. And the day that shall come shall burn them up, says Yahuwah of hosts which leaves to them neither root nor branch. But to you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall rise with healing in his wings, and you shall go out and leap for joy like calves from the stall. And you shall trample the wrongdoers, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day that I do this, says Yahuwah of hosts. Malachi 4, 1-3 How awesome is that promise of Yahuwah! When he makes a promise, he keeps it. He promised that the Son of Righteousness, the Messiah, Yahashua, shall come to us and heal us. Because of this, we all shall go out and leap for joy and trample the wrongdoers. Hallelujah! Yahashua did come to us. This one came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all might believe through him. He was not that light, but that he might bear witness of that light. He, Yahushua, was the true light, which lightens every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him, but as many as received him, to them he gave the authority to become children of Elohim to those believing in his name. Yohanan 1, 7-12 Both Yahuwah and Yahushua's names are important. As we have discovered, those who fear Yahuwah's name shall be blessed. We now just learned that those believing in Yahushua's name shall become children of Yahuwah. During Yahushua's ministry here on earth, he healed many and taught thousands. In the 17th chapter of the book of Yohanan, John, we read an especially beautiful prayer that Yahushua speaks unto Yahuwah. During Yahushua's prayer, he prays to Yahuwah the seven things that he has done. I have esteemed you on the earth, having accomplished the work you have given me that I should do. And now esteem me with yourself, Father, with the esteem which I had with you before the world was. I have revealed your name to the men whom you gave to me out of the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have guarded your word. Yohanan 17, 4-6 When I was with them in the world, I was guarding them in your name which you have given me, and I watched over them, and not one of them perished except the son of destruction, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Yohanan 17:12. I have given them your word, and the world hated them because they are not of the world, as I am not of the world. Johanna 17, 14. And the esteem which you gave me I have given them, so they might be one as we are one. Johanna 17, 22. And I have made your name known to them, and shall make it known, so that the love with which you love me might be in them, and I in them. Yohanan 17.26 Yahushua 1. Esteemed Yahuwah 2. Revealed Yahuwah's name 3. Guarded his followers in Yahuwah's name 4. Watched over them 5. Gave them Yahuwah's word 6. Gave his followers esteem and 7. 
made Yahuwah's name known. Three out of the seven things that Yahushua did were associated with Yahuwah's name. If Yahuwah's name was already known, and if Yahuwah's name was considered blasphemous to the common people, with only the priests permitted to speak it, why would Yahushua reveal, guard and make known Yahuwah's name to simple fishermen? Meeting, fellowshipping and communicating with the hundreds of believers around the world has brought many different doctrines and differences of opinion to our attention. Many believers still uphold this tradition of not speaking Yahuwah's name. Whether they believe his name is Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahuwah or Yahvah does not matter. What does matter is how they believe that the Father's name is too sacred or too holy to be spoken. Some even believe they will be cursed from speaking our Father Yahuwah's name, while others are truly dedicated to suppress Yah's name, to not bring a stumbling block before the Gentiles and keep them from speaking it. From so many people upholding this tradition of man has resulted in the remembrance of Yahuwah's name to be forgotten. Who tried to make my people forget my name by their dreams which everyone relates to his neighbor as their fathers forgot my name for Baal. Yirmiyahu 2327 These traditions and commands of men have caused the people to forget Yahuwah's name. They have replaced his name with mere titles that do not even reflect or compare to how mighty and powerful he truly is. As saddening as it may be, Yahuwah's name has indeed been forgotten for Baal. As we have explained in our study and movie of the Great Conspiracy, the definition of Baal is Lord. There is nothing new under the sun. Hiding, covering up and suppressing Yahuwah's name, for whatever reason, is very contrary to scripture. Rather saying we are commanded or forbidden to speak Yahuwah's name, let us acknowledge what we are commanded and or suggested to do concerning Yahuwah's name. We are to know Yahuwah's name, to bless his name, to sing to his name, to praise his name, to call upon his name, to give thanks to his name, to love his name, to declare his name, to trust in his name, we are to declare his name in all of the earth. With that said, if Yahuwah's name is despised, not spoken for all to hear, and hidden out of plain sight, his awesome name will continue to be forgotten for Baal. Instead of avoiding Yahuwah's name for reasons of causing a stumbling block before Christians and non-believers, consider Joel chapter 2 verse 32. And it will come about that whoever calls on the name of Yahuwah will be delivered. How in the world could it even be possible for anyone to call upon the name of Yahuwah from its suppression? If everyone who calls upon the name of Yahuwah shall be saved, and yet everyone who knows his name keeps it to themselves, wouldn't this actually cause a hindrance, a stumbling block, preventing everyone from even knowing Yahuwah's name? Many believers are even deceived with the idea of not using Yahuwah's name to protect it from non-believers. This is very wrong. 
who are we to say who is worthy of hearing the mighty, awesome, and powerful name of Yahuwah, and who is not? How dare those who even assume such a thing? The prophets spoke the name of Yahuwah to the entire nation. Yahuwah has no favorites, and there is no partiality with Elohim. Romans chapter 2 verse 11 Yahuwah has a name. It is very important. Stop using titles and start using the name which he has made known to us. God is a title, and furthermore, Lord is Hebrew for Baal. Adonai is not a name, and neither is Hashem. Which Savior, Christ, Heavenly Father, or Creator could someone really be referring to?